rise and shine, mothers and brothers. The beginning of another work week for me. Tuesday through Thursday. Friday, I leave for Nashville for the National Beard and Mustache Championships, where I will be sitting on a panel of judges. <laughs> Gonna be drinking my breakfast today. I didn't, I didn't put it in the blender, I just put everything in here today. And I forgot the yogurt, darn, now that I think about it. That's not a good thing. I like my yogurt. Did you ever have people that you can't get along with in your life? People that just refuse to be even keeled and to be gotten along well with. There was a great horror film in the 70s called The Exorcist. And apparently many demons inhabited the body of this teenage girl. One of the scariest movies I've ever seen in my life. It's, it really is. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Let me put it that way. For horror films, it's a good one. The lighting is incredible. It's iconic. Uh, I like monsters more than demon stuff, so give me a, a horror film that's that's more about monsters than demons, and put it that way. Creatures. But I remember the priest going to the woman, and he would ask, he would ask, not the woman who was possessed, but ask the one that was inhabiting the woman, who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? And he wanted to know who was inhabiting that person because there could be a legion of demons and wanted to know who that was. What's interesting is, do you ever deal with people like that? And the question that you must ask is, all right, who am I dealing with today? Am I dealing with the person who gets along with everybody? Or am I dealing with the moody person? Am I dealing with the angry person? Now, they're not gonna give you a straight answer. But I, I say that sarcastically, who am I dealing with? So. Be like the priest and be prepared to deal with whoever or whatever is inhabiting the people in your life at work. You just, you know, it's just, it's like, it's just like a grab bag. You put your hand in the bag, you, put, you never know what you're going to pull out. So what's interesting is you don't know if you're going to be walking into people who woke up on the wrong side of the bed who have an agenda of some type, who like you, who don't like you, who got a flat tire on the way to work, lost somebody in their lives, didn't get a good night's sleep, ate too much sugar, didn't have their coffee, fill in the damn blank, okay? Now, it's not your fault that they are the way they are, but it's not okay for people to take their stuff out on you. You can no longer be, you are not allowed to be somebody's punching bag. You are no longer allowed to be a trash can where people can throw their garbage out, whether it be their words or their attitudes. You are no longer allowed to take nonsense from people. That doesn't mean you have to fight. That doesn't mean you have to meet a sword with a sword. That doesn't mean that you have to create a problem and react in an inappropriate way. What that means is that you need to develop shock absorbers in your personality where people don't tick you off and push your buttons because it's going to happen. You're going to feel at peace. You got a good night's sleep. Car starts right up. Man, that coffee tasted good this morning. You had a nice healthy breakfast with oatmeal and sliced bananas, took your vitamins, you might have got a mile or two walk in, you went to the gym, everything is just wonderful. You're feeling good, you stepped on the scale, you lost a few pounds, and then you get to work or your destination, and somebody rubs you the wrong way and they knock you off of that wonderful spot that you're on. You know what strength and wisdom is? not allowing people to knock you off of your spot. You work hard to maintain 
your level-headedness. You work hard to maintain your goals. Do not let unlevel-headed people or goal-less people to knock you off that good place that you're standing on. It'll happen. I don't want to say it's Murphy's Law. I'm not one, that's a little too negative. That, you know, the, at the worst possible time, the, the worst possible thing is going to happen. I'm not one of those guys. I say make your own law. Make good things happen. And when bad things happen, possess the shock absorber that absorbs that, but don't take it personal. Never take it personal. It's their problem, not your problem. Now, if you're contributing to it, don't ignore that either. If you're being a jerk in any way, and people are reacting to you being a jerk, maybe then you're the problem that they gotta deal with. But here's the issue, in everyday life, you are no longer allowed, number one, to irritate people that you work with. You are no longer allowed to be irritated by people you work with. Be decisive, if that means you have to leave, then you leave. Your health, your mental health. I'm one of these guys that believes that mental and physical health are the same, interchangeable, because if something is bad for your mental health, you're gonna feel it in your body. You're gonna manifest it in your body. So don't think that you can just be angry and not let it affect your body. Don't think that you can just be sad or mad or depressed here and not let it affect all of this because it will practice that today now I know some of you had a bad day by the time you listen to this you had a bad day and people's faces are going to come to mind I know that for a fact as your mentor and life coach for those that choose that sometimes I like I I want to do the Yoda thing with you I don't, I don't want to say well try not to let it bother you I would rather say do not let it bother you enough of trying I'm trying to quit smoking I'm trying to quit drugs I'm trying to have a better uh, lifestyle. I'm trying to exercise more. Guess what your gravestone is going to say? He was trying. Trying and dying. Remember that. Trying rhymes with dying. No more trying. Just do. Not to get all Yoda on you. Just do. Be decisive too. Some of the best things in my life happened when I was decisive. When I made a decision and stuck with it. When I weighed out the consequences of a decision, whether it be breaking up with somebody, no longer putting myself in a situation with work. Did you know you can get fired from work, but did you know when you quit your work, you're firing them? How many employers have had an employee point their finger at them and say, you're fired? That's happening more and more because people aren't putting up with nonsense. And a company that has jerks in leadership or responsibility positions, the message needs to be loud and clear. You're firing the company because they, they were not a good steward of leadership. They did not put the proper leadership, understanding people, balanced people, fair people in positions of leadership. And I'm not saying this from experience, so this has nothing to do with, with my life right now. I know there's some people close to me that are watching this and they think that every time I, I do a rise and shine that it's reflective of something that's happening in my life. That's not true. 
this is just something I write down a bunch of topics and I handle these topics one at a time either in a rise and shine segment or a beards without borders are no longer allowed to be bothered by people. You are no longer allowed to bother people. Do your job. Be reasonable. Live your life. Be decisive. Let your yes be yes. Let your no be no. Out of 8,000 people that watch this if one person's life is better because of this, then this particular broadcast is a success. And I call us the Army of Average. Because I would rather appeal to average people who get a fire lit under them. Because when the Army of Average gets a fire lit under them, they become unstoppable. You can do it because I believe in you. Now go out there and do it.